Yo, what up fam? It's Money Pizzle in the Hizzle. Today I'd like to talk about using machine with Ableton Live. After a lot of research online, I couldn't find any way of doing this properly, so I have to eat it on myself. Because I really like machine, but I also really like Ableton with all the plugins and the mixing capabilities. It's incredible. Okay, so let's start with uh, getting a machine into the Ableton. I will load. So we'll load some samples into the sounds. So the easiest way to root all the sounds is in the mixer window. And then we'll just choose external one, external two. So we will do this with 8 sounds and you can do it with 16, but the system is the same. If you click this I out button, we can route the MIDI. So the MIDI goes out as well to the host. MIDI in from host. So now what we do is we load an external instrument on the MIDI track so that we can access machine. Oh yeah, by the way, there is this, uh, in this preferences, there is this um, machine MK3 virtual input and the other one, but I don't know why this is used because it doesn't really work. I guess it's for different dolls, so anyway. so. Rename this one for the first track, it, the audio goes to this one, but for all the other tracks, it's sent out to the, the other ones. So, duplicate this, rename to. So, we sent the MIDI from this track to machine channel one and to channel two. And then also we select the audio from the machine. So everything is stemmed out. Then very important in machine there is this MIDI the input. We have to disable this true button because otherwise we have MIDI loop. So the cool thing now is that we can uh, record the MIDI. Also, you can still record the pattern here. Just drag and drop. Disable this. And also, the cool thing is that you can still use all the features of the machine, so you can have a note repeats. And you can record them. Now, what I like to do is not use the patterns, but uh, actually use the MIDI here, so you can just create a new MIDI clip and oh yeah, we have to select MIDI from machine and then and now we can record arm it also the cool thing is we can still use the the horse mode for example
So that's how I like the workflow with Machine and Ableton. You can group this and do whatever you want, really. I'll put the link of the ALS file in the description so you can download this with all the settings ready to go. So have fun with it and let me know what I have to do next. Yo, like and subscribe and all that fucking shit.